Well, congratulations on. Your okay,、result. thank you so much. But actually, my work,、uh, you know, is based based on your your joint work with Pins and、uh, Yodir, right? And actually, I have learned so much from you, your papers. Oh well, thanks.、Mm. How long have you?、Um, how long did you work on prime numbers?、Mm. Or how long have you been interested in them?、Mm. See, interested when I was very young. I started、uh, working on this problem. That should be three or four years ago.、Mm. I see. And you read our paper then, three or four years ago, and、uh, mm-hmm. yeah. Uh-huh. And so, when did you get the idea that you were going to try to、um, try to、mm. get bounded gaps between primes? Was that a quick? Was that one of the first things you started to work on, or、um, that was yes,、uh-huh. was that the first thing? I tried to get the bound the bounded gaps. Uh huh. Then I tried so many things、uh-huh. from two two directions. We say the main term. As well the the arrow term. For the main term, I just try the because that should be the you say is the G P Y sieve.、Mm-hmm. We may regard it as a high dimensional sieve, right?、Mm-hmm. I try to change the coefficients using various method. The the arrow term, of course, that's the so-called stronger version of the Pampieri Vinogradov theorem. Also, I tried uh, uh, something, but I、um, then maybe the first break break、uh, that was I realized the first that was maybe the, maybe two years ago. Some, for some for certain modules, something could be. Better than the general situation,、mm-hmm. but then, 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 whenever I found something on the arrow terms, I, I turn back, turn the back to the main term, then just combine again, again, again.、Uh-huh. Then last year, as I said, on the July, on July third, I found that I should be a certain way to solve it.、Uh-huh. Yeah, because you know, I guess Pince and Motohashi had—they had the idea, some an I, similar idea with the modulus, but they、mm-hmm. never, they never could do the error terms. Yeah, I don't know if they ever tried super serious.、Mm-hmm. I don't know if they thought they could do it.、Mm-hmm. Um, they could. I got an email from Professor Pince,、uh, say, but he just said、uh, because he didn't know the. Close man, close man is something yeah, like this. Close mania. Close mania. Yeah, yeah, that's that's an interesting word.、Uh-huh. So he couldn't、uh, just go f- go further in、uh-huh. this direction. I just know that.、Mm-hmm. Well, maybe maybe I was lucky. No, <laughs> I, I don't think so. Found something. <laughs> yeah, because it's funny because you know the、uh, mm. Vonnyets and Friedlander and、mm. Bombier, they all worked.、Mm. They worked on the Kustermania side,、mm-hmm. and I think they never, they never modified the main term. So,、yes. you know, they were trying to purely、mm-hmm. do a higher、mm-hmm. level of distribution with, you know, basically with all the moduluses. Yeah,、um, a major problem on in the arrow term, arrow terms is that is it necessary to take the absolute value?、Mm-hmm. I f- I found it, I tried another way is to avoid the absolute value just following the Bambiri, Friedland, and the Ivanis, but it was very difficult.、Mm-hmm. Then, but if we take we we have to take the absolute value onto each arrow term, <laughs>、uh-huh. that's more difficult. But as I just found for certain modules. With a certain arithmetic、uh, properties, maybe it could be better,、mm-hmm. because we have, as I say, we have the factorization or something like this. I tried many times to to find for which one is better. Eventually, from both the main terms and the, the arrow terms, they come come together. together.、Uh-huh. <laughs> they came together. <laughs> yeah, well, that was fantastic.、Mm-hmm. Let me ask you something.、Um, I spent years working on 
um, if you assume level of distribution one, mm -hmm. trying to get gaps that were um, mm -hmm. less than 16. Mm -hmm. Did you ever try to, you know, assume mm. a higher a higher level of distribution, yeah. and then try to improve on the main the GPY mm. main term through some argument? Yeah, to reduce the value 16. Yeah, it's a possible. You think so? I think it's possible. Uh huh. Um, because uh, you know, uh, as I mentioned, I use uh, two sums S1, S2. There should be the third sum S3. S3 is is uh, just uh, trivially is bigger bigger than S2, and mm -hmm. also we just need to prove S3 is greater than S1. Mm -hmm. So there that should be some something in advantage we can do it. Using this one, the S the three. What is S three? Is that the? We take this the summation over the. I say the function. Your function the theta, mm -hmm. theta of n plus h one n plus h two. That is the summation. Mm -hmm. Then for this uh, the summation over the i from one to k, mm -hmm. we take a brackets. Then we take a square out. Uh -huh. Then that one. Some idea of the circle methods uh -huh. works, that, but it's very tricky. Uh -huh. I can only find a lower bound for the S3. I can't uh, evaluate it. It's, uh -huh. it's something very tricky. We can find a lower bound. What I found is you, um, the lower bound for the S3 should be bigger than S2. Uh -huh. But I'm not very sure. I may check it. Uh -huh. So in that way, maybe the 16 on assuming the half stem uh, uh, yeah, like conjecture, that may be reduced. Uh -huh. So maybe later on I may... Yeah, that some. would be really good. I, <laughs> I spent five years, of, uh, not all five years, but I've tried everything in the world on that. Um, I mean, the goal, of course, was... The goal is to prove if you have level of distribution one, you could maybe get down to gaps of size six, maybe. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's yeah. sort of... Maybe. <laughs> may, I mean, that would sort of be maybe the limit. Mm -hmm. um, did you ever think about um, trying to get more than two primes? Or, I mean, try to get three primes? Um, that's, uh, I think, maybe the unconditional results should be, could be very difficult. Uh, right. But I'm not sure, maybe some... We may try it, but uh -huh. still, it's, I'm not very sure, like this. But what about with Elliot Halberstam? Could you think you could go over the limit and get to three primes, a bounded gaps between three primes? That could be very difficult. <laughs> this <laughs> is what I can say. Uh huh. But something should be a little interesting. <laughs> yeah. So that was the Hardy Littlewood conjecture, or one of the conjectures. Right. That should the the tuples, each of the in the tuple, each is a prime. That's yeah, yeah. That mm. that was very hard. Mm. So what else are you going to work on now? Do you think? Or are you mm. going to keep working on these things? Mm, I may do it, uh, um, but also I may do something. Return to the gaps between the zeros uh -huh. problem or something like this. Mm -hmm. You've worked on gaps between zeros of um, zeta mm. or zeta prime or Z zeta. Zeta, yeah. Zeta, mm. The vertical gaps. Yeah. Yeah, the vertical now it is so different. <laughs> it uh -huh. is very deep one. Uh -huh. Even I don't know why Professor Mon Montgomery got his uh, pair correlation conjecture. Maybe yeah. It was in comparison with some models like the large matrices. Yeah. <laughs> maybe from the distribution of the eigenvalues, maybe. Yeah, it's hard to see how he, he mm. came up with all that. Mm -hmm. I thought it should be interesting to prove if you could get gaps between zeros that are half the average spacing. Oh. You know, I mean, you want to, there's sort of the barrier mm. going below mm. half the average mm. spacing, but mm. could you find a method that got you to a half? Yeah. And it seems like the methods all are don't mm. make it quite to a half. No. And uh, if it is less than a half, that should make significant progress to the seeker zero problem. Uh-huh. 
That yeah. was a very early paper by Montgomery and uh, Wins- Weinberger. Weinberger. Yeah. yeah. Something. It is very interesting. Still, I believe in that in analytic number theory. Still, we, ha- we may have many things to do. Yeah, we have a lot to do. <laughs> and you know, things happen. I think um, you know when you think about it, it's so slow, mm-hmm. and yet, you know, if you look at it over like a ten-year period, mm-hmm. um, I never would have believed you could get boundary gaps between primes ever. Mm-hmm. I mean, c- unconditionally. I just thought that was you know, way past what we would do, you know, <laughs> at least in my lifetime. And here it is, you have the result. <laughs> it's sort of amazing. Okay, thanks. But, but within a month or after about a month or two of that, I started thinking, yeah, you know, that wasn't so hard after all. I mean, in a way, you, you quickly accept what you can do. Mm-hmm. And then you start thinking the next problem is the one that you'll never be able mm-hmm. to get. And, mm-hmm. And yet, when you look back over the last 10 years, there's been quite a few of these things that have, you know, that you thought couldn't be done, and then suddenly they're done. So this is what I believe. When, when say, I, I myself, I, I started doing something research, I starting a certain problem, my, my experience is that do not claim yourself is so clever, so smart. No, <laughs> you are just a, just a human being. You, you make uh, mistakes and uh, many, many mistakes, uh-huh. <laughs> actually. But uh, just keep going. Just, mm-hmm. um, just persist uh, on, the, on the working. But and you were confident that this paper was right when you um, submitted mm-hmm. it. Mm, actually, I was met on April 17th. Before that, I spent at least two months myself to check all the details. Mm-hmm. That was a very boring time. Uh-huh. You, are, you check your own, own paper, your own argument. <laughs> so uh-huh. Maybe sometimes a very obvious mistake, but you looked at uh, even again, again, you, you still believe that it, would be, it should be correct. Uh-huh. But I spend uh, every day just, just check mm-hmm. each, each small part, word by word. And, uh-huh. and then before my uh, submitting this one, I was confident. Mm-hmm. At least I can say maybe some details, even some typos, something uh-huh. like this. But uh, the 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 entire proof uh-huh. must be correct. Uh huh. You know, I I used to be that way, but I I got crushed a few <laughs> because because <laughs> you see, before Pence and Yodram mm. and I did it, mm. Yodram and I thought mm. we had proved something, mm. and um, mm. and we were sort of in a rush. Mm. We didn't because people knew about the result before we had written it. Mm-hmm. So I wrote this paper. We mm. wrote this paper in a big hurry, mm. but. I was really confident that mm. even if parts of the paper were wrong, the the basic mm. you couldn't lose. Basic, I felt the argument had to be in principle right mm-hmm. because we we had done the extreme case. We had done the cases in the proof. We had done the case where all the different H's in our tuple were distinct. Mm. We had done the case where all the tuples were overlapping, and and I felt like the the general case was just. The two arguments put together, yeah, and and so we got the paper out, and it turns out Sound and Granville mm. were were looking at it, and they realized our proof really proved that there were infinitely many, infinitely often primes that differed by twenty, mm-hmm. unconditionally, at which point they decided it had to be wrong because that was an impossible result to prove. In other words, bounded gaps meant that it was impossible to be right. Mm-hmm. This was two thousand and three. Yeah. And so then they looked at it, and it turned out that the ca- only case that really was hard was the in-between case, where you had a mix of the two f- extreme cases, and that's mm. the only time mm. we were it didn't work. The extreme mm. cases both were right, mm-hmm. and the overlapping cases, basically when your lambdas are squared, mm-hmm. was the ca- was the only case that mattered, and it was the only case where it was wrong. <laughs> and not only that, that the lambdas we used had no asymptotic formulas. Mm-hmm. They basically were oscillating. And so the whole proof just crashed. And for like a year, mm-hmm. you know, for a year we just, 
you know, sh shook our heads and gave up basically. Mm. So after that, I've never been, co I've lost my confidence. That's <laughs> why I, I depend on other people because <laughs> I'm never really a hundred percent sure anymore that, mm. um, but it's good you, <laughs> you're, because <laughs> you actually work alone pretty much, right? You don't yeah. have anyone else checking your work. No, no. <laughs> You know, and I, I checked myself before submitting. <laughs> see, I always have, even when I was wrong, I basically mm. have sound looking at it, and mm. Yodrum and Pince now looking mm. at it, and other people are looking at it. We're all sort of, I'm always getting this help, but you do it completely alone. I mean, mm. um, you like, that's the way you like to work, I assume, right? Maybe that's. That's my way. Maybe this is because of my personality. You know, I, I didn't didn't uh, communicate so much with other people. Mm -hmm. But now, since now on, I may change my style. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's because it's quite. Un I think it's a little unusual to not um, have other people look at your work before mm -hmm. you submit it. Mm -hmm. um, but in your case, I think um, it got submitted right to the right place, and it, the paper was written so well. I was asked my opinion on it. Um, mm -hmm. I wasn't the referee, mm. and you know it was so clearly written that mm. um, it was clear that it was going to be easy to to make an assessment. I wasn't going to be easy for me because I'm not that good in cluster. I had basically never tried to do clustermania. I mean, mm -hmm. it wasn't like Pence who wasn't an expert. It was mm -hmm. like I refuse I'm, I'm now going to have to read i'm mm. now i read the first half of your paper mm -hmm. and went over the whole gpy part but mm. the second half i i still have delayed <laughs> i'm waiting <laughs> i'm waiting a little bit to mm. face it because mm -hmm. it's again not my real specialty but it's amazing how you actually went in and, and read those papers like bombieri friedlander mm -hmm. and yeah. and you know that those are considered very hard papers yes and you were able to, you know, basically um, absorb them and and then, you, you know, use all the techniques. Mm -hmm. um, and I think the deepest uh, part of that should be the birch bamberry. That's a multiple crust man. Uh huh. Sounds. Uh huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, that one. Um, mm -hmm. I guess. I guess I think that. The Terry Tao project thinks that they can, um, they they can basically avoid that if they, yeah. you know, for, if you are careful. In fact, I mm. I was looking on the web today and mm. they have a paper they're writing. Mm -hmm. It's sort of in the preliminary stages. It's already 150 pages, oh. and that's not with the full detail. I mean, this thing when it when it's finished is is probably going to be over 200 pages long. Mm -hmm. um, so it's. Where's your papers? Um, fifty page, fifty-two, yeah. I think. But it's actually not. When it's typeset, I bet mm. it'll only be about forty or so. Mm. I think. I don't know. It's originally maybe fifty-five or fifty-six yeah. pages. Right. But it isn't really very. I mean, it isn't like it was, you know, really finely, finely mm. <laughs> shrunk down to get to fifty-five. It's, yeah. So, what's your plans for the rest of the year now? Are you <laughs> too many place, places to visit. Uh, I, I, let me say again, too many. <laughs> <laughs> well, I saw you're on the program for um, for the IC, the International Math Congress of Math next yes, year. Yes, next year in, in Korea. Uh, Korea. Yeah, I'm, we're going to both be on the same mm -hmm. program. 